Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. You guys, it has been far too long. I have missed you guys so, so much, but I took this last month off because I just mentally needed it. I did keep up with my vlogging channel. So if you're not aware that I have a vlogging channel, it is linked down below. And I also was on my Instagram, but I just had to fall back a little bit, you guys, for uh, my mental health. But I'm so happy to be back with you guys. And hopefully you enjoy this video. It's jam packed with cleaning motivation, cooking, some decorating, you name it, it's in this video. So if you have something to do around your house today, let's get it done together. Oh, I can hear my own heart breaking Do you hear the sound of my heart breaking over you? You said she was just a friend And I remember thinking the worst that first Okay, so I just wanted to share my to-do list with you guys. I need to clean the back garage. We have a like a couple small projects that we're doing here around the house today. And so um, lists really help me. If you guys know me, you guys know I am a list maker. So anyways, we need to clean the back garage. My husband is also gonna be hanging something back there um, for more organization storage. I wanna show you guys the, our staircase, the railing to our staircase. We have somebody coming over to paint it. I need to vacuum the bedroom. I've already made the bed this morning and that helps me to get started. So basically the only thing I need to do in here is vacuum the bedroom after I have my tea. And then I need to clean the master bathroom, wipe down the laundry room and hang a basket. I'll show you guys that uh, as we go on along in the day. I wanna decorate the wall hooks downstairs in the hallway area after my husband hangs them and then cook dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my tea and then we'll get started. I'm looking for a brand new start. I know I got some trouble getting over you. I think that I've played my part. I need to get away somewhere far from you. I'm a buy, I'm a buy plane ticket. Run away by myself for a minute. I don't have, I don't have any limits. Ooh, ooh. I'm looking for a place where I can. Okay, beauty. So two videos ago, I had done a 20 or I, I gave details on how you can enter to win my 20,000 subscriber giveaway. And I was supposed to announce it a month ago, but I took a month off. Nevertheless, the winner is Run Right Reads. So I sent you a message. I appreciate each and every one of you guys that entered for the chance to win. I wish I could make you all winners, but Run Right Reads, I did send you a message. So please message me back. I gave you instructions on, you know, how to message me through Instagram so I could give you your hundred dollars. Be no limits. 
So right here, I'm just picking up the bathroom rugs. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in the washer. So when I finally do get a chance to come back up here and clean the bathroom, the rugs will already be cleaned. It was all a big mistake, never meant to miss the date I was caught up with my friends, I forgot that we had plans So the roses on the floor and found the champagne by So right here I just wanted to show you guys what the stair rail looked like before the painter started to paint things, they were there except for you You were gone You just pick up your phone Called you like a thousand times You saw my name and did the Okay y'all, so here we are in the back garage This is where my husband works on All his classic cars, his low riders You see one car is covered up there right now Anyways, it's a mess But we're about to get this cleared up As you can see right now, this is what we're going to be working on. We're going to be hanging that equipment rack. Well, we're not going to be doing anything. My husband is going to hang it. And then if we turn around, this is the gym area. And this is what I'm going to be focused on in a minute. This is what I want to keep, um, get clean because this is where I've been working out at. You guys see my hubby over there. He's pouring water into that. I guess it's a swamp cooler, air condition. I don't know, whatever it's called. But anyways, this area used to be so nice and clean and put together. So we got to get back to that. So I just wanted to say thank you to LT Mate for sponsoring today's video. They sent me this equipment rack and as you can see, it was much needed. What I love about it is you can install it and mount it to the wall so it saves space. Put it in your garage, your basement, wherever you see fit. It comes with a bike rack that you can hang your bike on. It comes with two storage racks and a basket. You can store your sports gear, sports accessories, your fitness tools, toys, just anything. It comes with six movable J-shaped hooks. You can hang your sports accessories according to your requirement. It comes with a baseball bat rack that you can hang two baseball bats from and it's made of heavy duty steel material so that's like really good because I love the durability of it and it has rubber coating on the hooks so when you do hang your bike it prevents it from being scratched. Another cool feature that I really liked is like you can see here my husband has two of those um, the mounting base you see that there's two vertical and one horizontal so you can actually hang those according to your space. And even though this is technically an equipment rack, we were actually able to go back in and utilize it for other things because um, it had more space available. So my husband was able to hang the broom and I even believe he hung the ladder. So if you're interested in this product, I will have it linked down below in my description box. Thank you once again to LT Mate for sponsoring today's video. I'm in love with all your lights and your colors. I'm in love with all your nights. But you've kept me far away from my focus And to my heart I cannot lie Stars made of stars Up above made to fall Stars counting stars And they guide me through the dark Left in despair, air is getting heavier, but I do my best to breathe. Dreams of green and filled with bliss, life is so much more than this. So, where do you go when nothing's like home? So I just wanted to take a quick break to come back in here and show you guys the progress of the stairwell. Of all the things I leave behind I got a new friend in my life that is perfect And you're no longer on my mind Sun, warming sun And my life's just begun Sun under the sun I'll be fine and you'll be gone
So I'm curious to know, what do you guys' garages look like? Because y'all, th- well, this is not even our main garage, okay? This is a workshop that my husband and I had built about a year and a half ago. And like I told you guys at the beginning, um, when I showed you this area, this is like basically where he does his, you know, his classic cars and works on all that kind of stuff. But anyway, what do they look like? Our main garage, you guys, is a hot mess. Actually, it's not a hot mess right now, but I did a vlog on it. We actually had a yard sale, I think about two weeks ago now, and it was much needed because it looked like we were hoarding. We were hoarding. Okay. So I'm so happy that it's cleaned up, but just let me know down below. Are you, do you have a garage that people... People can be envious of like some people around our neighborhood they lift up their garage door and I'm just in awe everything has a space it's just it's it looks perfect in there like I'm that's my goal that's what I want our garage to look like um and we're getting there slowly but surely you made this work I made this worse we felt apart a thousand times a thousand times you moved away I'm here to stay I wish I could go back in time, back in time I'm so sorry that I hurt you so deep Swear I spent the last few years just trying to change I'm on my knees and I'm begging you please Is there any chance you're thinking about me? Alright you guys, so this is the finished result I absolutely love how it came out So I just wanted to take a second and show you guys how freaking cute are these tea towels. I got them from a place called, I believe it's Primitive Star or something like that. Um, I've ordered some, this is my second order I've ever placed with them, but these are so cute. Like look at the pleats on here and then kind of like the ruffle at the bottom. I love everything with buttons, but anyways, these are super cute. I have to figure out exactly where I'm going to put these, but wherever I put them, I know they're going to look super cute. It's safe to say. It's almost like you've disappeared, disappeared I'm so sorry that I hurt you so deep Swear I spent the last few years just trying to change I'm on my knees and I'm begging you please Is there any chance you're thinking about me? So I started to decorate this wall, redecorate this wall a couple videos ago, and I'm absolutely loving how it's coming along so far. And I'm finally glad that I was able to receive the wall hooks that my husband's hanging right now. I had ordered them and it took like two and a half, three months for the company to actually um, send them to me. But nevertheless, I still have that part over to the left that I need to find the perfect piece for. And once I find that piece, I think I'll be done.
so I'm back here in the laundry room so there's just a couple well uh, there's quite a few things that need to be done in here first of all I'm gonna go ahead and put the rugs in the dryer I need to fold this load of clothes that came out of the dryer um, earlier and then I need to hang this basket and I'm gonna be using this garland y'all know I use this garland all around my house I'm gonna put that basket over here where that nail is um, and that's because I used the basket that was there over here in the hallway I got this one from Hobby Lobby and it has this on this side and I thought it was super cute I can use this like in the springtime but I think for now I'm gonna keep it turned like this and then it also has this long strap that's attached but I think I'm just gonna tuck it and hang just the basket then as you can see I need to go ahead and refill my sin booster and this laundry detergent so we gotta do that you guys see me use these earlier aren't they so freaking cute love these this is what I was using <laughs> Looks all ghetto, but anyways, clearly that needs to be cleaned out. I'm just actually going to throw it away because I'm not using it anymore. But these are super cute. I will link these down below. And you guys always, somebody always, always asks me where I got these um, jars. These specific ones came from Target. If I can find them, I'll link them below. And then you guys also always ask me about these jugs. And these came from Amazon. And I've had them linked down below in several videos. But I think I'm going to keep them permanently linked down below since a lot of you guys are interested in them. And the pumps are separate. So you'll see a link for the pumps and you'll see a link for the jugs, okay? And then as far as the labels, I have bought the labels from Etsy and the paper um, from, I think I got it from Walmart, not sure. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, no, I got the paper from Amazon. So I'll link whatever I can link down below. Anyways, let's go ahead and get all this mess cleaned up. Side note, you guys, if you've never seen this in my video before, I absolutely love this thing. Um, it's to help like keep the door ajar to the washer so it doesn't uh, mildew. Typically, before I had this thing, I would have to keep it like wide open like this. And as you can see, that that's not like the best thing to do. But I think it was like under $10, 20 for sure. Can't remember, but this is a lifesaver. I will also link this down below. Hey, we can run Like a wrecking ball, we can break them all to a higher ground. We will not be found. We can win the game. We can go insane. Like a okay, so I love how this looks. It came out super cute. And I still have another piece. I know exactly where I'm going to put this. I'm not going to put it up in the video, but um, I know exactly where that will go. Just in case you guys were wondering, this garland is $39.99 at Hobby Lobby, but I never buy it for $40, y'all. I wait till it's 50% off and I get it for $20. And what I love about it is that, like you see, you can use it in several places. So I just always um, cut it and use as much as I need at a time.
so I'm watching this clip back and I'm like, oh my goodness, you, I'm so proud of you, Shanti. You only have a very small load of clothes to fold. But when, in reality, y'all, the day before I literally folded, I think I washed and folded like six loads of clothes. So you guys don't let these videos fool you and make it seem like we, you know, people who create these cleaning videos that we're just always on top of our homes because that is not true. Okay. That could be the furthest thing from the truth. I just did not film that that day. I didn't film, you know, all of the mountains of laundry that I had to wash and fold, but I'm here to tell you that I was, I was about to give up. Okay. I was about to give up and buy everybody a new wardrobe. Now for you very observant people, um, I had to slow this down a little bit for y'all. Look how I folded that fitted sheet. Like I started off like I knew what I was doing, but Lord knows I do not. And y'all, it wasn't because I was in a rush. I, that's how I fold them. That's how I fold fitted sheets. I don't know how to fold them. I even looked it up on YouTube. Okay. How do you fold fitted sheets? And I watched the video and I said, I ain't doing it. I'm not doing it. I think I tried it and it didn't work out for me. So that's what you get. And what I do is I take some nice um, sheets that flat sheets that I fold very well and I put them on top and bam, it makes it look like I have things together. <laughs> So the reason why you see me dumping the detergent out here is because I tried to use the FIFO method first in first out. So basically I won't be dumping a whole bunch of newer cleaning products on top of older cleaning products. I want to be able to utilize the older cleaning products before I utilize the newer, if that makes sense. I was actually taught that a long time ago when I worked in a restaurant. In, out, I'm losing you. Can't we try again? Don't let this go to waste. Feels like we're fading out i'm losing you oh can't we try again don't let this go to us Okay, guys, so for dinner tonight, I'm going to be making meatloaf, mashed potatoes, cornbread, and green beans. So right here, I have a pound of ground beef and a pound of ground turkey. If you've been following me, you guys know that I do not typically cook with ground beef, but when I'm making meatloaf, I do, and that's because my mom actually taught me this trick. Um, if you just use ground turkey, it doesn't really hold its shape, so um, I, I do half and half. I've already seasoned it. These are the seasonings that I used. So to the meatloaf, we're gonna add some oatmeal. This is about a cup of oatmeal. This is for our binding agent. You can also use breadcrumbs. I'm not a big fan of breadcrumbs. I don't like I don't like the consistency of them. We're gonna use, this is about three-fourths of a white onion, half of a bell pepper, 
one egg, 12 ounces of tomato paste, and then one package of the Lipton onion soup. Over here on the stove, I've already peeled my potatoes and they're cooking as you can see. And then I just have some frozen green beans. You guys can use fresh green beans if you like, but this is what I'm doing. So I already put the seasoning and the butter in. I haven't, I haven't cut the fire on because there's no need to cook these green beans so soon, but I just have them sitting here waiting for me. Also go ahead and preheat your ovens to 400 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is just add all of these ingredients, the onion, bell pepper, egg, tomato paste, oatmeal, and the Lipton onion. We're gonna add it into the meat, mix it all together, and then we'll put it in the pan. And y'all look here, everybody who doesn't like the fact that I'm gonna use my hands, I don't know what to tell you. This is how I cook, my hands are clean. This is my kitchen, this is what I do, okay? So um, I know that you can use gloves, but I just prefer not to. But I'm way too good for you. You believe it's true. I just want you guys to know that I didn't make this meal on this day. It's just how the footage is and the magic of editing. It makes it look like I'm, you know, I've done all of this in one day, which I predominantly did most of this video in one day. But this right here, this meal, it was actually a Sunday dinner because um, this is not something I would typically cook during the week because it takes a little bit of time. And um, even if I did do it, even if I did make it during the week, I show in the heck wouldn't have been in the back garage cleaning and just doing the other things that I did because um, it takes a lot of work to cook, you know. So this is a meal, like I said, that I made on a Sunday and I, re I filmed it that day. And then I it just so happened that this is the position of the video that it fit and I feel like it flowed best. One day it's over, baby. Someday we'll find a way out. When all our strings are broken, you'll see that we could do without. When all our dreams are over, when all our hopes are dead. With this town turning colder, with all our colors bleeding red. A big rink of when the storms are hit. I sing you any song you wanna hear. Okay guys, so now at this point, what we're gonna go ahead and do is cover it with aluminum foil. We're gonna let it cook for about 30 to 40 minutes. And then once it's cooked halfway through, we're gonna go ahead and then and add the, the ketchup concoction that I make. Happens when the storms are hit. I sing you any song you wanna hear. Okay, so at this point, the mashed potatoes are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain them and then show you guys how we're gonna make them. Okay, so just for reference, this is um, six large potatoes, y'all. You can also use, these are russet potatoes, but you can use golden potatoes, whatever potatoes you, your heart desires. But for what I'm doing, um, like I said, this is six potato, six large russet potatoes. I'm using some 2% milk, but you can also use buttermilk, half and half. I even use heavy whipping cream sometimes. Um, you guys know I do not measure, so this is hard for me. I am going to use two sticks of butter. So you want to use two sticks of salted butter. And this is actually not even real butter. That's blue bonnet butter. Some sour cream, maybe about a fourth cup of sour cream. And they're just going to season it to taste. I'm using kosher salt because I love how kosher salt, um, I don't know, I just like how it tastes in potatoes and I'm also going to be using black pepper. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is add the two sticks of butter and then I'm going to also mash it with my hand masher. We will blend it but I have to mash my potatoes first. 
So now that the potatoes are mashed, we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients and then we'll mix it with the hand mixer. Gonna stay in this moment, gonna lay here on the grass. Also, what I will say is for those of you guys that are scared to you know use salt, go ahead and taste it as you go. Okay, so just use a little bit because you are using salted butter. And there you have it, perfectly creamy mashed potatoes. Super easy. Okay y'all, so now the meatloaf is done. What we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna add ketchup, barbecue sauce, and honey. Now that may sound like, are you serious? But you guys, I'm telling you, look y'all, just follow this recipe, okay? I'm telling you, people who don't even eat meatloaf, eat my meatloaf. My brother-in-law, just a list of people. They don't like meatloaf, but when they taste it, they eat it. So just follow these instructions, okay? We're gonna use predominantly ketchup, but uh, we're also, like I said, gonna add the barbecue sauce and the honey. So you guys know I don't know the measurements, so as I'm doing it, I'll kind of guesstimate and tell you how much I'm using of each um, condiment. Okay, you guys, so I use anywhere from like a fourth to a half cup of ketchup. I used, and you can use any barbecue sauce you like, okay? I used about, about three tablespoons of barbecue sauce, and I used about a tablespoon and a half of the honey. Now, if it's easier for you, go ahead and add all those ingredients in a bowl, mix them together, and then apply it to the top of the meatloaf. But like, y'all just seen what I just did, okay? You just have to make sure that it's like evenly dispersed across the meatloaf. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and put this back in the oven, uncovered for another about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay guys, so dinner is ready. I didn't show you how I made the cornbread because I just used boxed cornbread. I will say add some sugar to the batter and honey to the top when it's done. But that's it. Okay guys, so I finally made it here into the bathroom. Y'all, I'm absolutely exhausted at this time. So I'm gonna do the bare minimum. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down the counters with Clorox wipes. I'm gonna Windex the mirror and then I'll sweep and put the clean rugs back down. I'm not gonna clean the tub and that's perfectly fine because honestly it gets clean like every couple of days because the kids always bathe there. They typically bathe in our bathtub. And then my husband will come in and clean the shower. accelerating when I'm thinking about the good times that we had my friend said you were overrated I always told them they couldn't understand the things you did to me you showed me what it's like to fall in love only you could set me free I didn't think that I could ever get enough okay so the quote for this week is 
When a woman finally learns that pleasing the world is impossible, she becomes free to learn how to please herself. You guys, when I seen this quote, I was like, oh my goodness. It's just like, it's so profound. You know, it's so profound and it says so much. And it's hard to explain it. Thinking about you makes me crazy. All the things you did to me. You showed me what it's like to fall in love. Only you could set me free. I didn't think that I could ever get enough. You know it can be frustrating. Thought it couldn't be the two of us. And it kind of feels like wasting something that was good right from the start. Let me tell you that I still wanna hold you. When I tell you I am so grateful that my husband doesn't mind cleaning the shower, I don't know what it is about cleaning the shower. It's just not my favorite thing to do. Um, actually, I don't really like cleaning the bathroom, but of course we have to have clean bathrooms. And of course, if I have to clean the shower, I, I definitely will, but um, he doesn't mind doing it. So I am more than grateful. Okay, guys, I'm really excited because we are finally about to utilize this. We're going to put the shampoo and conditioner in here. I got this from Amazon for like 20 bucks and I've been having it for months. So my husband, we're going to fill it up and then my husband's going to go ahead and put it in the shower. dry so I'm just gonna go ahead and dry this off with a paper towel and then my husband's gonna um, install it right here in the corner okay so the moment of truth guys we're gonna see if it comes out cool I get excited over small things <laughs> 
so that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to head down to my description box and check out the link for the equipment rack. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload future videos. And until next time, everybody, bye. Give me love, give me all your love, give me all your love. Give me love, give me all your love, give me all your love. Give me love.